Okay, gang, welcome back. Next section in Dynamics, we're talking about AT, ST, and VT diagrams. This is acceleration versus time, uh, position versus time, and velocity versus time on these diagrams, okay? I think these are pretty easy, and if we go back to statics and we check out shear moment diagrams, you're gonna see a lot of similarities. And so, let's look at this, okay? So I've got a car that accelerates from rest uh, to 10 meters, or uh, accelerates for 10 meters per second squared for 10 seconds from rest, okay? And then it starts to decelerate at two meters per second until again back at rest. And so acceleration is constant for this part of the acceleration and for that part of the acceleration. So let's draw a diagram here and we'll do this. Here is our A diagram. That marker's not very good. Okay, and so here is A, T, and this is the time. So time goes along this way, and then this axis here is acceleration, okay? This is going to be, we'll call this positive acceleration, and we'll call that negative acceleration, okay? And so what do we have? For, from 0 to 10 seconds, let's just put a 10-second mark on there. There's 10 seconds right there. Oh. Okay. It's going to be going 10 meters per second squared. So it's just, it's constant though. So there he is, boom. And then once he gets out to 10 seconds, what? Then he goes 2 meters per second until rest. But it's deceleration, so we can put a negative in front of that, couldn't we? Okay, so here he is now. Uh, this, was, uh, this was 10 here, right? So now we are down here at 2 maybe for some amount of time, okay? So that's what my diagram would look like. Now I've got to figure out what this time is over here that it takes him to get stopped. And I'm going to show you how to do that. That's pretty easy. It's really easy if we look at the, um, if we look at the velocity diagram. Okay. So here's the next diagram down is going to be, this is again time, and this is now, this is velocity. Okay. Do you remember how we did the graphic method on the shear moment diagrams where we found the area of the shapes? Right, this is 10 by 10, so that's 100. So these are, these are related, the acceleration, velocity, and then finally down here at the bottom, right, position, this is your ST. They're related to each other just like our shear moment diagrams are related to each other. This one is the integral of that. Position is the integral of velocity. Velocity is the integral of acceleration. And so we can use those same techniques that we learned on our shear moment diagrams to solve these problems, okay? And so what we did on that is we, we, we said that we could find the area of those shapes and that would tell us on the next diagram what we had to have. Do you remember also from, do you remember from shear moment diagrams, remember we talked about the order of the lines, right? If I have a concentrated load, the next line down was a flat line, right? Then I had a, a linear slope. Then I had a, a, a parabola, and then I had a cubic. This was like y equals five. This would be, the integral of that would be five x. The integral of that would be an x squared. The integral of that would be an x cubed, right? On down the line there. It's the same with these curves, okay? So the velocity curve, if that one's straight across, the next line down is gonna be a linear slope. So there you go. It goes from zero, that's where the velocity started. It started at zero, so this thing started at rest. And then at the end, guess what the velocity is? 100, it's the same as that guy. And then what? We slow down until we're back at rest, okay? If it's back at rest, that means the sum of those, those uh, areas has to be zero. So if that's 100, what does this have to be? It has to be 100. Okay, and if this is 10 and this is 2, let me put a little 2 over here, right? That's a well, negative 2, really, because it's in the negative, right? Um, and I'll put a little plus and a little minus there. Um, then if that has to be 100, and if, this, if the height is 2, then what does this have to be? Well, it has to be 50, doesn't it? So this over here, this total length of time is 60 seconds. It's 10 seconds and then 50 seconds, right? This is not to scale here, but uh, 
then it comes back to zero and the velocity is back to zero there at the end. So I can tell that from my diagrams. Okay? So, and then the same thing for this guy down here. Position, he starts off at zero. All right, I have this curve here. What's my next one gonna be? Right, we can do the graphic method just like we did in the, on the shear moment diagram. We find the area of that, which is one half base times height, which is uh, one half, what's the base? 10 seconds, what's the height? 100, okay? 10 times 100 is 1,000 divided by two is 500. So I'm gonna go to 500. And that's probably gonna be, well, that's gonna be meters, right? So how do I get there? Okay, just like before. If I'm here, the next line down is gonna be parabolic, right? And remember a parabolic, I got two choices. I got that and I got that. Is it fast and slow or slow than fast? You remember back from solids or statics, right? We have a slow accumulation here and a fast accumulation there. So it's slow than fast, which means it's gonna be flat and then very steep. It's gonna be that bottom curve like this. Okay, there it is. To 500. Now, does this thing, is, it, is the position curve gonna put back to zero? No, the guy is going in a straight line, he just accelerated out there and then he slowed down. So it's not gonna go back to zero. So it's gonna go to some other value over here. Well, what's it gonna go to? What's the area of this guy? Well, it's one half, the height is 100, and then what is this? Well, it's, it's 50, okay? So what is that? Uh, 5,000 divided by two is 2,500. So it's gonna go 2,500 more meters from this area of this curve, right? And 2,500 more meters, it was already at 500, so that's gonna take me to 3,000, okay? And how do I get there? This is fast and slow, so it means it's gonna go steep and then flat. So kind of like this, whoop, back to there, okay? So there's our three graphs. Now, some of this is very easy to do, all right? So what is an acceleration uh, for this portion of the curve? Well, it's just y equals 10, right? So acceleration here is 10. What is the acceleration here? Well, it's the integral of that. So what would that be? The velocity is equal to 10 times t, right? That's just the integral of, of 10. I put a t on it. And what is the integral of this, this guy right here? Well, it's going to be uh, position is equal to uh, the integral of 10t is what? 10t squared over 2, which is like 5t squared, okay? So there's an equation that defines every s for there. There's an equation that defines every v for there. And there's an equation that defines every a from there to there. Now these portions of the curve over here are a little bit harder to do uh, and we're going to have to use some integral tricks to do them. Now they wouldn't be any harder than these were except there's a constant now. So let's go over here, race this and see how we do that, okay? Let's give some space over here. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Let's, let's do the, uh, an equation for that line. That ought to be super simple, right? A, for this section right here, in other words, from, from 10 seconds to 60 seconds, right? That's a 50 second time there. Um, A is just going to be equal to negative 2 everywhere, isn't it? That's the equation for that part of the line. So that's pretty easy. So what about that guy there? What is the equation for that? Well, Remember, this is the integral of that. So let's integrate this, which is a. Let's use this equation here, okay? So dv is equal to um, a times dt, all right? Do we know what a is? Yes, it's negative two. So let's do this. The integral of dv, okay, and that will get us into a v because we want an equation for v is equal to a, which is the integral of negative two, that's a, dt. Now, where are you gonna integrate dv from? From here to anywhere in this area, right? 
So it's going to go from, what's the V starting off with? It starts off at 100, doesn't it? 100 to some value of V. This one, where does it start off with? That's, this is time. It starts off at uh, 10 seconds, right? So at 10 to time T, okay? So let's see if we can do that little integral there. Let's see. This is going to turn into a uh, just a 1, right? So it's just going to turn into a V and then minus 100, right? Uh, you know, because it's, it's V. I'm sorry. Maybe that was two steps at one time. From 100 to V, right? So this whole side over here is going to equal um, V minus 100. And then the other side over here, what's this going to equal to? Well, that's going to be minus 2t from uh, 10 to t, okay? So that's going to be, what, minus 2t, and then minus, put a 10 in there for t, minus, uh, minus 20? But it's minus a minus 20, right? Minus a minus, so that's going to turn into a plus. So v is equal to, put the 100 on the other side, negative 2t plus 120, okay? So there is that equation for v. And we could have also found that, right? That's like, this is a straight line. So mx plus b, right? If that's 60, right, and that's 10, where does this, if that's 100, where does this intersect the axis, the y-axis? Well, it intersects it at 120, right? So there's an equation for A for that section of the line. There's an equation for V for that section of the line. And let's do one more. Let's find the equation for the line there. Uh, and we could use that equation, right? So we're looking for uh, S. So let's use this. I'm so out of space. Okay, here we go. Um, we're using this equation up here. So DS is equal to v dt okay here we go so we're going to integrate this guy from where from 500 to some s value and we're going to integrate this side the t from where again from 10 until t from 10 to t okay so here we go this side over here is going to turn into uh s minus 500 just like this side up here did for v okay and this side over here what is oh v is all of that right there right so if we integrate that we get what uh minus 2t squared over 2 plus 120t now the twos are going to cancel out so this whole thing is just going to be t squared isn't it so how about that so minus t squared plus 120t from, from 10 to t, okay? And again, I put the t in there, so I get this. I get minus t squared plus 120t minus, minus what? Minus, put a 10 in for that, minus, minus 10 squared plus 120 times t. What's 120 times t? Well, t is just 10 in this case, so 1,200, okay? So that's minus 100, plus 1,200 is 1,100, and that's, so it's minus 1,100, and when I add this 500 over there, that minus 1,100 is gonna be minus 600. So my final equation is this, s equals minus t squared plus 120t minus 600. Okay, I'm running out of board there. So that is the equation for position for anywhere between here and here. So I, you give me a time anywhere in here, I'll plug it in there and I'll tell you the position. So you understand that this is the integral of that, is the integral of that. And we can use are things that we already knew from shear moment diagram. Because these are integrals, we remember the order of the lines. Again, I have that, then I have this, then I have that, parabolic, and then finally cubic, right? As I go down the order of those, those uh, graphs there. Okay.
I hope that that's not too confusing. So just remember back, and if you haven't, go back and review Shear Moment Digress for both my statics videos and my saws videos, and review that and see if that doesn't help you. Okay, I hope that helps.